Once you are done with your circle weaving, you are ready to take the weaving part off of the loom. The loom is this cardboard circle. You'll need a pair of scissors to do this. And we are going to start on the back side and you're going to choose one loop at a time. Gently pop that off of the loom. And then I'm going to hold this with one hand and I'm going to cut it at the top. To make it easier to cut, it helps if you hold the string around the scissors like this, pull it tight and cut it. I now have two strings that need to be tied together. So I'm going to tie one knot. This is like the knot you use when you're starting to tie your shoes. And I tie another knot. And for right now, I'm going to leave these longer. That way, if I want to do something else with them, I can. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to pop off one string. Cut it at the top. Tie one knot. Tie a second knot. Whenever you get to a loose, like the end of your weaving or the single string on the back, what you're going to do is tie this onto one of the strings next to it. It doesn't matter if you tie it to this string or this string, but that loose string does need to be tied onto another string so that your weaving does not unravel. So I just double knotted this one, these two, and these two. When you get to the last one, the one that is taped on the back, you are going to carefully untape that. Any tape that's on there, peel it off, throw it away. You could also trim this end if that makes it easier. I'm going to unhook it, and then I'm going to choose one of the strings next to it. And I know these have already been knotted, but that's okay. I'm still going to tie it onto one of them next to it. So I make a single knot, and then I make a double knot. Usually this string is longer, so if you're planning on hanging it up, don't get rid of this string. This is where you could also tie this to make a loop. So I'm leaving this loop. I tie a knot. I tie a second knot. And then I could use this to hang this up and I could trim these shorter. You have a couple options with your leftover strings that are hanging down. You could leave them if you like the way that looks. You could continue knotting them to make it look decorative. So a bunch of knots on top of each other. So I just keep knotting, keep knotting, and then that will make them stick up a little bit more. Almost reminds me of like the rays of a sunshine when you do that. So I could just keep knotting and it'll be longer. Or I could also very carefully cut them off. We want to make sure that we are not cutting your knot. Sometimes it's a good idea to tighten it one more time after you have trimmed that. You'll notice I'm cutting towards the back of the scissor blade. I find it's a little sharper when I cut the string way back here at the end. Again, we can also pull it tight to make that easier. These get returned to Mrs. Hayes. Make sure you throw string scraps away and return your scissors.